Hello, I am TJ Hafer. And I am Brianna Hafer. And this is Crusader Kings 2 Monks and Mystics The Metal Empire. Welcome. Where we are playing as the uh, devil wor worshipping Duke Fenritz of House Dark Throne, <laughs> the uh, Duke of Nidaros in lovely northern Norway. Uh, is it too loud for you? No. Okay. Um, and our, uh, our adventures, we had a daughter last episode, Bathory Fenner's daughter, um, who, by the way, is strong. I don't know if we pointed that out, but the ritual with the witch and her magic medieval Viagra or whatever it was <laughs> caused us to have a strong child. So that's, that's definitely a good thing. Um, by the way, I also noticed after we finished recording... Look at the uh, religion icon now. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. It turns upside down, <laughs> uh, which is pretty awesome. They really thought of everything. Yeah. Um, so we need to build up to uh, 750 dark power before we can get the next rank, which is conjurer. Um, so we need to acquire some prisoners so that we can sacrifice them to the, uh, the dark lord, I think. <laughs> And uh, the other thing we can do is we can actually start trying to get some of the people in our realm to join the society with us. So I think we should just go ahead and ask all of our vassals if they want to praise Satan with us. What do you think? I, I think so. All right. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's see if, if we can uh, recruit for Satan to, <laughs> to find out whether Count Ogman lusts for power of the occult. If so, you may offer him the embrace of the true Lord. So let's see. Oh, uh, the King of Norway wants to appoint us as a commander. I like it. Uh, oh yeah, we should have uh, we should have done Chief Finn first, the guy who keeps inviting us to drink mead. Oh yeah. Meeting with Count Ogmund, I made sure to only cautiously question the absolute power of his almighty god. Thankfully, it seems that my carefully chosen words had the desired effect on him. From his glittering eyes, I got the distinct impression that he enjoyed the philosophical aspect of our conversation. A sensible man, Ogmund. I've arranged a run-in with Count Ogmund on the palisades of his castle today. His face darkens when I again attempt to discuss my worldviews. I then offer my favorite protection spell, a chicken leg and a leather pouch. <laughs> I thought it was harmless enough, but he refuses to accept the gift. Ah, he Darn. doesn't want to praise Satan. Well, maybe Chief Finn will want to. Uh, recruit for Satan. Oh, mm. we can't recruit him because he's not a sinner. Oh. He's uh he's zealous, charitable, just and chase, so he's too good of a person. <laughs> well darn. <clears throat> That's so annoying. This this guy is too. <laughs> so annoying that he helps other people. Yeah, what about our bishop? Oh, he's gluttonous. He might he might want to join. Let's try to recruit the bishop for Satan. Bishops for Satan is a new organization we're founding. <laughs> um King Harold of Norway has agreed to increase the power of the council. That's awesome. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let's see. He's steely. From a steely look, finally gave me. I probably should steer clear of him. Okay, so. Darn. None of our vassals want to, uh, want to praise Saint. Maybe, maybe the king of Norway would, though. I wonder if there is a, some sort of potion or something we can do against them. Um, we can eventually, but we have to get up to a higher rank. Okay. We have to get up to the point where we can, uh, use the demonic possession power Ooh. on people. We need to do that. Let's see if uh, King Harold wants to praise Satan. Would he get be mad at you? Um, so to? far that I can tell, um, people don't become mad at you for trying to recruit him. Ah, he doesn't want to join. Darn. Well, that is disappointing. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't like us, but that's mainly because he wants control of Hedenmark, which we're not going to give nope. him. No control for you. Yeah. Where is... Where even is Hedemark? Right there on the right. Right to your mouse. Oh, we can... Oh, yeah, we do control that. Yeah, that's Count Ogman's land, and he's our vassal. So... Um, all right. Well... We could potentially do some conquering... Oh, yeah, we have to not be bankrupt. That's important. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put this on speed five. All right, we have money now. And we're drinking with Chief Finn again. Um, make tributary. We don't really want that. So this guy is independent. 
uh, Chief Ausmund of Jampland. He's Norwegian. He owns this land here, which is right next to our land, which means we could potentially conquer that um, if we can somehow get a claim on it, because he's also Christian. We can't just declare war on him whenever we want. On the other hand, um, we could declare whatever we want on the Sami who live next to us and start conquering these areas. Uh, what do you think? Well, I guess to expand our land, we'd have to. Yeah, I, I feel mean, bad about uh, conquering the Sami, though. Yeah, the we need to like get some prisoners is the thing, okay. so that we can sacrifice. Well, them. I guess if that's the what we have to do for yeah. Satan, that's what we have to do. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, he's not much for cultural sensitivity, Satan. Yeah. Let's see. This guy doesn't have any allies. We don't have a CB on him. I guess because it must be because the mountains are there. We can't. It doesn't count as bordering us. Okay. Uh, this guy, though. We could declare a holy war on him. Does he have any allies? Just his wife. Or we could declare a holy war on him, which would actually allow us to take two provinces, which is even better. Okay, let's do that. So let's uh, let's declare a war on High Chief Bayavi of Kola. Oh, wait. Before we do that. So this is important. Because he's a pagan, um, they get attrition in their homeland, which means they're going to be like jumping out of the trees to attack us and kill us if we try to march an army there. So before we can start declaring war on uh, pagans, we need to get our military organization up to four, which you see it says removes pagan homeland attrition penalty. Okay. So that's what's keeping us from just conquering these guys right away. Okay. So in that case, we should probably send our chancellor to fabricate claims on Yemtland so that we can conquer it. So he's going to go there and basically write up a bunch of bullshit papers that says this is supposed to be our land and even though you're Christian, we're going to attack you and conquer you. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. All right, unpausing the game. <laughs> Holy shit! Praise Satan, I've never seen... I've never seen a claim <laughs> pop up that fast before. Ever. <laughs> I've been playing Crusader Kings for like a thousand hours. I've never seen... That was like a day. Holy shit! We do have the Dark Blessing. Uh... Oh, yeah, there's a fight. We got really drunk, and now we're going to fight. Put him up. Chief Finn put up a good fight in spite of being just as inebriated as you. After a while, you were both uh, exhausted and had to call it a draw. Um, so we could get injured from this. Yeah, we got the wounded trait. Oh. Now known as Fenrit's the Quarreler. Quarreler? Because <laughs> we got drunk and got in a fight. That's awesome. So we now have negative money and negative prestige. So before we actually go to war, we're going to have to um, wait for our money to recover. And hopefully for our wound to recover. So I'm just waiting for our counselor to become available again, which is going to be on the 3rd of September. All right, the wound finally healed, Yay! so we're scarred now. Where is it? Badass. It looks like it's on our the lip there. Okay. Yeah. My courtier and fellow sister in darkness, Thora, and I had been discussing a small devotion to Pythias when she suddenly stood up, stretched, and said, I'm in the mood for some mayhem. Let's dress up and head out to the town. Yes. About time, I'll bring my new poisons. Demonic outings <laughs> can be rewarding, but remember that Satan is a cruel master. Let's do it. Wearing nondescript common clothes, Thora and I are slowly making our way to town in amicable silence. As we pass by a neatly kept garden in front of a cozy-looking house, I am suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion. This family is clearly favored by the Lord. Keep going, they get to live for now, or it's time to do Satan's work. Well, do Let, we want to see what this game yeah, does? <laughs> let's, let's, yeah, it's time to do Satan's work. The oh father of goodness. the family died last. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, but the marvels he got to see first... Thora carved the wife's face off and pranced around wearing it as a mask, oh taunting and kissing the man while on boiled baby fat to make a flying potion. Oh, paradox. Finally, we constructed an <laughs> idol of mammon from the dismembered bodies. Holy shit. That escalated quickly. 
Um, <laughs> burn it all, no one must know. We gain 100 dark power and we become cruel and we become friends with Thora. Or leaving it would play, please Satan more. We gain 200 dark power. We gain the trait cl- cruel. We get the blessing of Balbarith, uh, which gives us plus 20 taxes. We become friends, uh, but the locals are going to be upset. Let's leave it. Let's leave it up. What do you think? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> Predictably, the local populace didn't appreciate the glorious monument of flesh that we left for them to find. <laughs> Rumors are running rife, and it won't take much for the whole Ross to erupt into open rebellion. Well, well, we can probably fight them. Okay, um, so let's see. We have 361 dark power now. Um, so Satan's favors Abjur Fenritz. So this is uh, this is the leader of the order. An opportunity to strike at the foolish followers of false gods has presented itself. Their priests in Hamar are ignorant of the true state of the world. Tear down their idols and steal their wealth in the name of Satan. Glory to the deceiver, signed High Priest Abad. So we can accept the mission to desecrate the temple of Hamar, targeting Hamar. Um, yeah. I, I think almost should... kind of want to go with the mo- most extreme. And yeah, all. we, we should, should definitely go does. with the most extreme. That's the that's the whole point. All right, so where is Hamar is up here somewhere? I think. Yeah, there we go. Found it on my first try. As much as I don't want to make metal to seem like yeah, a Satanist. <laughs> right, exactly. Desecrate temple. Uh, do it. What did that do? My preparations and plans have been made. A servant has been bribed to leave. A side door to the temple in Hamar opens so that I and some faithful servants can enter and do the dark bidding of Satan. It It is is time. time. As I and a group of my faithful make our way through the church in Hamar, I spot a priest tending to their duties in the middle of the night. Kill them or avoid them. I I think we probably have to kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Kill them all. Navigating our way through the small church, I and my companions have entered the small room that goes... For the inner sanctum. The room contains the sparsest possible honorings to God and a scant few decorative idols and relics. The state of this place shows clearly the superiority of our cause. Um, so we can steal the relics, gain five gold, or burn it all in the name of Satan and gain 100 dark power. We kind of need dark power. Though. Yeah, we do. We, yeah. Let's burn it all in the name of Satan. The night is silent as we exit the church, our foul rites making sure that the holiness of the place is tainted for years to come. Uh, so Catholic gets minus one moral authority, so that's going to start spreading heresy if we do that enough times, and we gain 200 dark power. Dark deeds done in secret. Um, we might be able to rank up now. Almost. (gasps) We need 750 to get to the conjurer rank. Okay. So did that do anything to the province? Oh yeah, desecrated temple. This temple has been desecrated by an unholy ritual. It doesn't say what it does. Yeah. I love the music in this. Oh, yeah. Kaiser Heinrich of the Holy Roman Empire has set up an anti pope. Well, <laughs> that's, uh, let's, that's let's like take ghost. a look. Um, so, in, in a medieval context, anti pope just means that he's saying, no, the pope isn't the pope. This guy is the pope. Oh, got it. Okay. Basically. Got it. Um, but yeah, Catholic moral authority is down to 46% um, because of all of the things that have happened so far. Can you, so, name, can you name provinces in here? We can, yeah. We should start naming stuff. Well, here's yeah. what I think. When we actually take the county of Nidaros yeah. from Harald Hardrada, we should rename Nidaros to Dark Throne. Okay. Because that will be the actual Dark Throne of House Dark Throne. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We are going to have to do yes. something Bathory and... Yeah. Well, Bathory is technically Swedish, I know. so yeah, we should... Well, we'll have to put, take We should see if we can conquer Sweden and then put our daughter Bathory in charge of Sweden yeah. or something. Uh, sweet infrastructure has uh, improved in Hologoland. So that's nice. And for those who are giving us suggestions on bands to name things, we will try to get them yes. all. Yes. For sure. We our, our name list is mostly based on Norwegian black metal bands, but if we run out of those, we might start doing metal bands from other countries and metal bands that are technically black metal. And Metalocalypse names. And there's an <laughs> outbreak of slow fever. Oh, no! Um, also, smallpox is on the way, so that's great. Um, can, say, can Satan do something about that? Slow fever? Is that like tuberculosis? Is that what that... Oh, it's typhoid fever. All right. In the Middle Ages, it was called slow fever, apparently. 
we can upgrade our... So we have a cultural advance. Um, we can upgrade noble customs, which makes lords like us more. Popular customs will make mayors of cities like us more. Religious customs will make priests like us more. Um, majesty is like how prestigious we are. Tolerance uh, allows us to rule over people of different religions and cultures. And then legalism, which is usually the one I go for first, lets us pass new laws. Okay, that, that will be more useful. Yeah. Tolerance um, is going to be my second deck. Yes. Well, right now, all of our subjects are Norwegian, so tolerance isn't really doing anything for us. But if we conquer, like, England or something, that's when we would need tolerance. We can change we it. change another law in 1071, so next year, actually. And all of our council members are hiding from the sickness that is plaguing our lands. Oh, yeah, we can actually... I think we can go to war now. He still doesn't have any allies, right? Yeah, so we can go to war for our claim on Yemtland. Want to do that now? Yes. All right. Uh, let's make sure our vassals are happy. Reasonably so. Yeah, we should be able to... We should be able to pull this off. Our levies aren't completely recovered from fighting in England, but... He can call 714 men, and whoop, altogether we can call over twice that many. Okay. So, declare war. Claim Yemtland. Let's see, perhaps the glass is fuller than I believe it to be, as long as it doesn't overflow. Oh, we lost the cynical trade. That's going to make us have less dark power. No. The diplomatic skill of Chancellor Augmund is deplorable. No matter what task I give him, he always manages to disappoint. Um, not good enough. Chastised about his lack of diplomacy. I don't trust him to do a good job. All courtiers will know that we don't trust Chancellor Augmund. Or his lack of diplomatic skill costs me dearly. I take 20 gold from him and because... He's cost us so much money. What do you think we should do? Tell him to shape up, tell everyone that he's a bastard, or take money from him because he's not doing a good I job? I honestly don't know what would be better. Well, I think if we tell him to shape up, he might actually focus on being better at his job. Okay. Um, he actually has a really good diplomacy skill. It's just that he's in hiding, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why he's not doing so well. Oh, yeah, we need oh, to... Oh, there's a baby. Son was born to... Brynjolf. So that's our core tier. He's not actually related to us. Um, I don't really want us to be leading an army ourselves right now. That's a little bit dangerous. So let's... Oh! Whoa. Let's slow that the hell down. We lost that battle, like, majorly. Because I was on too high of a speed and I didn't see what was going on. Okay, well, <laughs> that's not good. We can still do it. Hopefully. Oh, that's why, because half of our troops are up here. We should have united our armies before we actually went to war. Duchess Christina uh, has gotten sick. Let's call for our physician. Oh. Probably because what? we didn't shut the gates when <laughs> the slow fever showed up. Takes a very long time to get anywhere by land in Norway. Should have probably called our ships. The boats are expensive. Actually, if we get on the boat now, they'll still get there faster. <laughs> get on the boat! Get on the boat. Even to this day, uh, it's it's very uh, troublesome to get anywhere by land in Norway. The trains in Norway are fantastic. Oh yeah. Very impressed. 